stage too well. The dressing room destruction. Shake hand. Give you an idea. The stage is set. We're set to go. Bob Sheridan here. You see Mike Tyson in the black truck. Larry Rosadio of the United States, Ken Morita of the U.S., and Mr. Uchiha. We listened to over the years that, uh, you know, I think sometimes you get too close to a fighter and you believe things that cause them early. That right hand to throw. That's a surprise. With the exception of Tony Tucker, who Mike won the uh, IBF title from, everybody else has been really intimidated. Uh, the head's coming together. You saw Mike's head come right in the cheek there of Buster Douglas. You see the way Mike dipped You see again the key, and keep watching for this, whether Buster can hold him off to the closing seconds of this, the first one. Wow! With the right hand is Buster Douglas, and Mike comes right back and answers it with a wild left hand of his own. There's the bell, ending round. To get through the first round, and that's why Don King has brought this show on the road. Look at Buster landing some shots here. You heard about uh, Buster Douglas' mom passed away a short time ago, and he's dedicated this fight to his mother. Mike. Mike comes through, leans to the right, and then throws that left hook. He might at any time lands that big shot. Uh, probably would be scored more even by the judges because they wouldn't pick up immediately. What fuck are you talking about, Octavio Miran? Oh, an uppercut got through that time by Buster. Look at that here. Well, one thing for sure, he's come to fight. Okay, okay. Inside, he grabs on and holds. You see right there, and that prevents it, Mike from doing. Buster Douglas has landed over 50 punches, and Tyson's landed only 16. Let's see how it goes here, round three. Mike looks like he's got the adrenaline flow going a bit better. Octavio Miran, the third man in the ring, in the second round in favor of Buster Douglas. You see Mike much more aggressive, but again, Buster instead is Buster coming back. Mike paws and lunges. Oh, that, there's the left hook they get through. That's the first real telling blow by Mike. Hey, this is round four. Bob Sheridan here. We're in Tokyo, Japan. It's a pretty good hand speed. And for some reason, Mike doesn't seem to be into it. All land that big left hook, and there he goes head hunting with the right hand. And that's what Aaron Snowell told him in between the third and fourth round. Of course, Styles make uh, fights, and you see, oh, there's Mike missing that big left and just great. Can he keep that left going? Oh, well, gee, there's a right hand that gets thrown. I'm talking about the big question. Wow. That's the great thing about the heavyweights. It's always sudden death. Mr. Douglas, and Douglas answering with loaded up shots of his own as the bell ends. Round four. Hey, we've got a good fight on our hands. Filled with confidence as we go to round number five. You know, on my scorecard, I actually wants to drag this uh, into some later rounds, but there was a real good right hand that landed off the hand. The first two big shots and three and four shots landed, and this is the fifth round, a landed by James. Is Mike having an off night? You don't know. I mean, because again, oh, big right hand landed that time. Busters, if, if, if two, three, or four is a quick Mike, they just tied him up and it made for lackluster fight. Buster Douglas, for however long this goes, has come to fight. Coming up to the closing seconds of the fifth, and this is certainly Buster Douglas' round. All right. And Buster not taking any of the shenanigans from... Mike just not moving laterally at all. He's standing and making himself a nice target. And you get the idea now that the adrenaline's pumping here in the sixth round. Mike has got to realize that he's behind uh, into the area of 86 where he actually had to go uh, 10 seconds now. This is the sixth round. And every time Mike like does that hop, skip, and a jump is the belt right. Sheridan here in Tokyo, Japan. This is for the undisputed heavyweight championship side. Buster trying to get off with a kind of half right-handed uppercut that time. That this is his night and all of that sort of stuff. But of course, one big shot from Mike Tyson can end all that speculation. And Mike looks like and now you get the idea that at some stage here, Mike can land a big shot. Or Buster is gonna get right back on top of his game. We're in Tokyo, Japan. I'm Bob Sheridan. You're watching the heavyweight championship of the world. Right hand behind it. Let's see if we can get back to that. Oh, instead Mike lands a pretty good right hand of his own inside. Heavyweight championship fight. Buster looking a little bit sloppy now. Buster trying to finish this thing, and you get an idea. Mike is trying to finish the abrasion by his left eye. 
Wow, with the left hand is Buster Douglas. Buster. And the fact of the matter is it's Buster that's making it the fight. Landed by Buster Douglas. And if Buster was out of gas in the early going of this round, he's got it back together in the late portion here. Raising left hand. That all night. Oh, that's a nice uppercut that time. The drops Buster Douglas. The count's up to two. At different angle. Look at the head snap and the perspiration fly. And that's the Mike uppercut from Mike Tyson that eventually catches him. And there it is. Look at that. It's a clean right uppercut. It's up to seven, seven and eight. eight. And here it is at nine. Is he going to get up? Yes, he okay. does. Together between seven the down. eighth and ninth round. Look seven at that. Down. What a vicious uppercut. Oh, is it just man. another day of the uppercut that has to be in? Look at these shots just loading up by Mike Tyson now. Mike wants to end this. Shot again. He's down. He comes with the uppercut. Somehow or other, Buster's throwing shots back. Look at this. But oh, we got him again. Buster fights back strongly, landing some big shots. And now he can't get Tennis. Look at that. And he did in seven and eight in his history. When he's got fatigue, he's been to buckle, but he's not buckling now. We passed the midway point in round nine, and I expected Mike. Look at this. Look at Buster. I haven't seen Mike in this kind of trouble before. Look at Mike actually grasping the hang. Bangs the body back upstairs in the head. Buster doing just about everything right, but Mike landed to get back. Look at these and these replays. You see Mike get one big shot in there, but Buster landed to a three. And look at this. Buster Douglas absolutely having the night of his life to this point. Oh, Mike tries to land a big right. Buster not intimidated. He wants to keep it going. Mike actually, his referee was breaking them. Mike misses the uppercut. Mike's left eye is really close. Buster's landing these. Oh, nice uppercut by Buster Douglas. Look at this. He's knocked down for the first time in his career. Mike Tyson hits the canvas. He's in big trouble. He's not going to make it. Unbelievable. Buster still throwing punches. Another big left hand. Throwing the punches as he goes down. And Mike, for all practical purposes, is still coming forward. And there is a, just a great uppercut. And it's that uppercut that had Mike back reeling. And then followed up by a, be all kinds of questions about Mike Tyson and his mental preparation for this fight in the chain. Oh, what a surprise, folks. A lot of concern in that corner.